In this video, we'll talk about various ways of planning your descent, and then we add a top of descent marker to the navigation display so we know when it's time to start that descent. That's coming up next. Hello, some pilots, welcome back to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video with the Flyby A32NX. If you're new to the channel, a very warm welcome to you. Thanks for joining us. If you find value in these videos, then smash that like button, hit subscribe, it really helps us out. Today we are talking descent planning in the A32NX. So before we dive into planning the descent, there's a few things we need to consider. We will take a look at the arrival charts and then we will plan for any altitude restrictions, any speed restrictions. Uh, we will also take into consideration our cruising flight level. Obviously the higher we cruise, the earlier we wanted to start our descent as uh, we don't want to be descending at 5,000 feet per minute. That's not very comfortable for our passengers. So for our planning, we are going to be using the descent calculator in the flight pad. We'll also use the fixed page and the progress page in the MCDU. And obviously we'll need our charts for the arrival. I'll be using Navigraph, but you can use any charts you wish. So we are almost at our cruise flight level of 370 and I'm already going to plan our descent. The first thing we want to have a look at is the chart to see what flight level we need to descend down to and where is this waypoint that we are looking at this flight level. So if I bring up the arrival that I've chosen for Venice, it is the Albert II Echo arrival. It is an RNAV arrival. And as you can see in the top left corner here, our first altitude restriction is Albert, which is below flight level 130 and above flight level 100. So the flight level I'm going to choose here is flight level 100. And we also have a speed restriction here, max 270 knots. So we need to descend from our cruising flight level of 370 down to flight level 100. So how long is it going to take us? Well, let's go over to the flight plan descent calculator and it will work it out for us. So yeah, if you head on over to the flight pad and you can go down to performance, here we have top of descent, we have our ground speed here. So over here you fill in your current altitude which is 37,000 feet. You fill in your target altitude which is 10,000 feet we chose and we need to start our descent 85 nautical miles before that waypoint of Albert. So how do we know when we're 85 nautical miles away from Albert? Well, we head over to the MCDU and we use the progress page. Here we can insert any waypoint we want. So we insert Albert, Alpha Lima Bravo Echo Tango, insert it over there. And we are still 481 nautical miles away from Albert. So when this gets down to 85 nautical miles that's when we will begin our descent and what we'll do is we'll use the altitude window over here we'll set it down to 10,000 feet and we will use a managed descent I'm not going to do that just yet but instead of staring at the MCDU to wait until this says 85 nautical miles why don't we head over and over to the fixed page we put in Albert again Albert, and we'll put in a radius of 80, what is 85? 85 nautical miles away from Albert. Now, if we have a look, let's just go to plan here. Yeah? If we have a look at the plan page on the MCDU, and we just page down a little bit, there you can see we have our 85 nautical mile range ring around Albert. So if I wait until we get to that ring, it's gone now. So if you go, if you wait until you get to that ring on the navigation display, that is now working as your top of descent marker. So once you get to that ring, you scroll down to 10,000 feet and you can hit manage descent. That's one way of doing it. Right, then the second method of 
calculating your top of descent is also using the flat pad calculator but instead of using the standard three degree descent angle what we can use is we can use a distance or a fixed distance to our waypoints so let's say for example you want to descend 100 nautical miles before your waypoint so we're descending from 37,000 feet down to 10,000 feet and if we want to begin our descent 100 nautical miles away from our waypoint we will descend at a desired descent angle of 2.5 degrees and a desired vertical speed of roughly 2,000 feet per minute if we had to change that to 120 as you can see the descent angle changes and the vertical speed if we have to make it less let's say 70 we need a higher descent angle of 3.6 degrees at a desired vertical speed of 2,900 feet per minute. So as you can see with the calculator, you can play around with it. The longer you leave it to descend, the higher your descent rate is going to be. And the earlier you descend, then the shallower your descent rate is going to be. Then the very last and final method is the rule of thumb method, which is a sum can use your paper or a calculator and the sum is our altitude difference between the cruising altitude and the target altitude you multiply that by three you divide it by 1000 and then you add 10% for a margin it can be less than 10% margin if you have a headwind or it can be more than 10% margin if you have a tailwind but roughly 10% usually works out quite accurately so let's do the sum using our example here we are cruising at flight level 370, which is 37,000 feet. Less 10,000 feet, which is our target altitude. It gives us an altitude difference of 27,000 feet. That is multiplied by three, which gives us 81,000. That is divided by 1,000, which gives us 81. And if you add 10% to that, which is 8.1, that gives you 89.1, or round it down to 89 nautical miles. And as you can see, there's only a four nautical mile difference between the 89 nautical miles and the 85 nautical miles that we got right from the beginning using the flat pad. So yeah, it's pretty accurate using the sum as well. So I'm going to leave it until we get to our top of descent at 85 nautical miles away from Albert. And then we'll begin our descent from flight level 370 using a Manage descent mode, stand at three degrees, and let's see how close we get to 10,000 feet by Albert. So I will see you at top of descent. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, about an hour later, we are still in the cruise and we are about 10 nautical miles away from our ring that we set at the beginning. So if I zoom out here, you can see here's our 85 nautical mile range ring that we set around our waypoint of Albert, and we're just about to reach that. So if I zoom in, here it comes. So as we hit that range ring, I'm going to just set flight level 100 in the altitude window. And we're gonna hit manage descent. And let's see how we get on. there's about five nautical miles away as you can see here we are 90 nautical miles away from Albert so that's pretty good I reckon we can just start our descent right now so flight level 100 set in the altitude window and we can hit manage descent so you can see thrust idle descent altitude and the aircraft is going to start its descent from flight level 370 to flight level 100 let's see how we get on So here we are coming up to flight level 240 so just under halfway from our descent and we are still 46 nautical miles away from Albert which is about just over halfway so it looks like we're making good progress and our descent rate seems to be sufficient we should reach flight level 100 before Albert. So there we are guys, we are 10 nautical miles away from our waypoint of Albert and we have hit our restrictions of being below flight level 130 
but above flight level 100 we are currently descending through flight level 120 and uh, we should be down at 100 by the time we reach Albert and that's pretty much all there is to planning your descent a uh, nice quick and easy way to do it using the flight pad descent calculator the fixed page and the progress page if you have any questions regarding the descent leave a comment below and I will get back to you the only thing that's left for us to do now is finish the arrival start the approach and have a good landing into Venice as always guys thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one enjoy the landing Minimum 200. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Five.